Well, yesterday I drained the, uh, the Baromatic Van Wert over here and uh, pulled the plumbing off of it, and pulled the auger out of the bin and transfer head off and got it up on a furniture dolly and moved it over here so I could install this here Van Wert VA600. So it's here. I've started the plumbing and stuff. Most everything's all painted now and ready to be assembled. This has got to put a good bit of insulation on this. This is uh, actually a water heater blanket that I just wrapped around it and, you know, did a little fitting on it. It's a little bit bulgy on this side so I'm probably gonna have to thin out some of the insulation on this side to get this to fit right. I'm doing a full crossover pipe on this between the two returns and because this is a, a dual fuel that hole right there is where the oil gun goes. So to be able to remove and install the oil gun I had to bump the crossover out 18 inches on these uh, pipes here and the crossover kind of didn't quite get it measured right that's about a three-quarter inch gap right there so what I'm gonna do is pull this T and replace this close nipple with a two or a two and a half inch nipple that should give you probably half inch or so and with this much sticking out I mean you probably you can probably live with a half inch and it'll squeeze together and still seal Stoker goes in back here I just had that plate on there to uh, so I put a trans a, an old transfer head in there so I could kind of get it lined up with about where it's going to go into the bin because being that Baromatic had the stoker on the side the hole for the bins right there so this one's going to be more like uh, about in here somewhere which is closer to the middle of the bin but I'm probably going to move the bin a little bit too. As you can see I have a kind of a back section on there to aid in getting uh, coal in from the door over on that side. But I think I'm just going to take that off and push push the coal bin all the way back against this wall. That's about a foot or so. That will get that spot there where the auger is going to go in even closer to the middle. And this is just uh, the old domestic coil with the coil cut off of it. I have to take this off and seal it up. Have some new bolts for it and stuff. And I'm just going to put three quarter inch plugs in there to close up that. This was really just going to be simple because I was going to just plumb two pipes. This is the return. So out the bottom of the pump it just has to connect to here and out the supply it just has to connect to there. So and this is going to be the boiler bypass here coming down into the crossover. But it got a little more complicated than I wanted to so we'll have to uh, deal with that today. Also the wiring I just have I, I took the Aquastat off of the Baromatic and I just stuffed it up in there in the wiring but um, it's looking like all the wiring is going to run down this here return pipe that the, the pump is on because if I put the 
the, the aquastat's going to be right here, and the motor for the stoker is going to be right about there. So all the wiring will be right in this general area. So I'll either have to do some rewiring and put a couple junction boxes on to extend some wiring. Hope to get this done either late today or tomorrow. More later.